CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. So we're feeling better about our situation with respect to Laura tonight and uh, break down why uh, we're feeling better. And there's, there's really two reasons. The first one is, is that uh, the storm hasn't gotten any better organized this evening. The second one is, actually there's three reasons. <laughs> the second one is it looks like it's going to be traveling over land. And the third one is, that's a secret, I'll show you that coming up. So here's where we stand tonight. 45 mile an hour winds moving to the west, northwest. Tropical storm warnings now uh, in the path of Laura all the way up into the southeast Bahamas, the northern coast of Hispaniola there, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and the northern Leeward Islands. Here's the threat cone. It's forecast to move to the west, but now the starting point is in the Caribbean. It's no longer in the Atlantic. It's in the Caribbean. So now for it to come north, it has to cross over land and mountainous land, no less, which is very disruptive to struggling tropical systems, which this one is. There's your Saturday evening position. There's the Sunday evening position. Watch what happens to the threat area here, the yellow area. It literally almost disappears because the chance or the threat of tropical storm conditions gets so small because the center is tracking either over or close to land for so long. That's the Monday evening position now. Its closest approach to South Florida is go going to be during the day Monday. We're still going to see breezy conditions, showers, rain, uh, kind of squally, especially as you get down into the Keys. But uh, the tropical storm conditions are becoming less and less likely for the Keys and very unlikely now for mainland South Florida, although we could see some tropical storm wind gusts uh, over the mainland, as especially the Keys. There is forecast to strengthen as it gets into the Gulf and move on to the northwest. Here are the models. Remember, our starting point makes all the difference. What we were concerned about was it would be up here somewhere, moving to the west, north of the islands, because this direction is pretty much locked in. There we are Sunday morning. There we are Monday at noon and then on into time going to the northwest. So it's uh, disorganized this evening. It's going to stay over land, it looks like, for most of its trek to the south of us. But here's the, th the third thing. Look at the upper steering currents. This right here is a big blocking high pressure. The storm doesn't want to go there. It can't go there. It's being blocked from going to the north. It has no choice but to go to the west. And then you get to uh, this over here. And look, there's an opportunity to go north. Uh-huh. Right there because there's a big dip in the jet stream there. Opportunity to go north. But this is right now. Watch what happens as we go forward into time. The high expands a little bit. So Laura is trapped down there, can't go to the north. That's Saturday evening. Here we are Sunday evening. Now the high is actually starting to build west, north of Laura. Laura still can't go to the north. That's 11 p.m. Sunday evening. Watch what happens to the high as we go into Monday. It's coming west, too. So it's kind of moving along now with Laura, blocking Laura from going to the north. Laura is forced to the west, finally getting an opportunity to go more to the northwest here because the high is parking itself here. So thank goodness for the blocking high. Sometimes it hurts us. It steers storms our way, but sometimes it helps us. The other news tonight is Tropical Storm Marco. Uh, winds at 40 miles an hour. It is forced, forecast to move to the northwest there uh, through time, through the weekend, but no longer forecast to be a hurricane because of uh, slightly less than favorable conditions, but the folks, of course, along the Texas and Louisiana coast are watching it carefully. A few showers tonight in our forecast. Summer muggy is very humid out there. For tomorrow, look for breezy, hot, and humid. Feels like temperatures well above 100. Some inland storms, high temperature near 92. The breeze picks up on the water east southeast at 15 to 20 and taking us through the weekend. An ocean breeze, the effects from Laura on Monday, and then back to the ocean breeze. CBS 4 News tonight's coming right back.